on the line with us Judy Wicks, activist, author, founder of the White Dog Cafe in Philly. Her website, Judy Wicks, W-I-C-K-S dot com. You can tweet her at jwicks333. And Judy, welcome to the program. Thank you, Tom. I mentioned, uh, I think at the, about 20 minutes ago, 25 minutes ago, that at Standing Rock uh, yesterday evening, uh, afternoon and evening, the, uh, the, th the thugs uh, were spraying, using water cannons to spray water on protesters in 27-degree Fahrenheit weather. Um, uh, this is pretty grim stuff. You and Jody Evans of Code Pink and Jane Fonda are going to be serving a uh, Thanksgiving Day feast to the folks at Standing Rock. Do I have that right? Yes, we are. And we're joining with uh, volunteers from the Sioux Reservation who are also helping us uh, to cook and prepare um, a dinner for 2,000 uh, people that wow. will be serving at the Standing Rock uh, uh, Community School. And this says it's a Waplia feast. I've, I've, I've not heard. What is Waplia? W O P L I A. That means thanks in Lakota. Ah, so it's a Thanksgiving feast in the in the language of their in their in their language. That's really cool. Exactly. And, and you know, and the point is to is to is to give back uh, to uh, the water protectors for um, protecting Mother Earth on, on behalf of all of us and of all of our children and children to be. Right. We're talking with Judy Wicks, activist, author, and founder of the White Dog Cafe in Philly. Judy, if people want to support what you're doing, if they want to buy, basically buy dinner for a, a Native American family that's that's standing up for all of us at Standing Rock, how do they do it? Well, we do have a GoFund uh, campaign, and we are also uh, raising money for uh, what they're calling the Brown Earth Lodge. Uh, a straw bale community center that uh, can endure the winter uh, where 80 to 100 uh, people can, can meet uh, mm -hmm. on the reservation. Um, so um, let's see. I, I don't know all these websites off by hand, so why don't I just say to go to judywicks.com and click on Standing Rock, and there they will see more information all the about links are there. fundraising projects. Okay, great. And, I'll, and, and our, our social media people will, will do what you just said, and we'll cross-post that stuff uh, over at TomHartman.com as well, so that people can um, do both. Um, but Judy Wicks, J-U-D-Y-W-I-C-K-S dot com is the website that you're recommending. Right. As a starting point. Click on Standing Rock. Yeah, and HonorEarth.org is also uh, collecting funds. Do I have that that's, right? That's where, that's the, uh, that's the organization that's collecting the funds, but there's, uh, if you go to the page, it's hard to find the this particular fund. Um, right. So that's why I, uh, I suggested going to my site so the link is there. Sure. Um, sure. Yep. And, and, and we'll, and like I said, we'll push that out too. So uh, thoughts on the uh, water cannon attack yesterday? Oh, I was horrified. I, I was just glued to the live stream. Thank, thank goodness for those that are out there covering this because the mainstream press is just not there. Yeah. Um, and, and that is a large reason why we're doing this um, dinner on Thanksgiving Day is to and hopes to attract um, the press uh, to, to this, you know, uh, uh, traditional um, holiday for Americans at a time when uh, perhaps people would watch uh, coverage. Yeah, yeah. So you're flying into Bismarck and taking the, you know, and driving over to the, the to Cannonball, is it? Do, do I have that right? Yeah, um, and uh, uh, we're staying at the casino there, the native-owned casino, which has mm -hmm. suffered greatly from the roadblock that the um, police have put up uh, that uh, that's scaring people away from coming to the casino. So we, we're, they're sold out while we're there. <laughs> we're occupying every room wow. um, and eating our meals there um, in the morning and the evening and having our meetings there. Um, so, uh, yes, uh, we have people coming from over 15 states, and we're uh, joining um, with um, – Another a delegation led by um, Shailene uh, Woodley um, and her, her mom and friends so that we can serve a, a larger um, group. Right, right. This is, this is great. I mean, this is, this is grassroots action at its very finest. It's a, it's a noble thing that you're doing, Judy. Um, uh, who, who started this? Whose idea was this? Well, uh, I, I guess it was my idea. <laughs> Uh, cool. To do it on Thanksgiving, and yeah. I, I guess the, the genesis of that is that in the days when I ran the White Dog Cafe, I um, uh, held a Native American Thanksgiving dinner for 15 years mm -hmm. uh, because I uh, found out that most of the foods on our Thanksgiving table were originally cultivated by Native Americans, uh, yes. whether it's squash, pumpkin, potatoes, tomatoes, corn, and Native Americans actually first domesticated the turkey. Mm. Uh, yet when we gather for Thanksgiving, we don't recognize that. 
Uh, and of course, as we know, um, the original Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving um, myth is, you know, an idyllic myth. Um, it was not actually true. Um, and instead, um, Native Americans have been uh, betrayed um, and suffered from genocide over hundreds of years now. So we're yeah. trying to turn around uh, the idea of Thanksgiving to, to be one that's um, that's really legitimate. And so I guess the, uh, you know, the roots of this began with that uh, Native American dinner I did uh, for uh, our local uh, Native people, the, the Lenapes, who were the first people of my region. Um, and um, so it also, I guess, for me, stemmed back from having lived in an Eskimo village uh, in 1969 as a Vista volunteer. Hmm. So it was there, really, that I began to understand. That's marvelous. Um, you know, Judy, Judy we're hitting the break here. I'm sorry. We're, the, we're running out of time. But JudyWicks.com okay. is the website. Judy, thanks so much for being with us. Thank you, Tom. Keep up the great work.